Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, hi if you're new, and welcome to a reading vlog. I don't currently know if this is going to be a few days, if it's going to be a week, we're just going to go for it, we're going to see what happens, and yeah, it should be a bit of an interesting one because I've got some time at home, I've got some time I'm going to work in the office, I've got some time I'm doing ambulance shifts as well, so we're just going to see what happens. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful time, please let me know. Feel free to share any books that you got for Christmas because I'm nosy um, and just what you got up to and whether you celebrate Christmas or not. I hope you had some time with family or friends or just doing some things that you wanted to do just a break, just to relax, regroup and have some fun. We had a good time. We went round to my parents for Christmas. We were there Christmas Eve, Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Well, the boys went to football on Boxing Day. But my granddad was there, my uncle was there, uh, the other half had his lad with us for the week, who is a scream. Um, so it was just a really fun time. We laughed a lot, we ate a lot, there were a lot of presents going on, but it was a really, really good time. So it just feels weird now. The last couple of days I've spent a little bit of time in the office each day, just a couple of hours getting back in the swing of things. But it's just, I don't know. It's just like you, you go into this other world where time doesn't exist during that Christmas period. And then afterwards, it's like, what day is this? What time is this? Where am I? Um, still kind of in that stage a little bit. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. So reading goals. I thought we'd talk about reading goals for 2024. As you will know, if you've been watching my last few videos, um, I have been picking books at random using prompts for my December and now my January TBR. I think January, that TBR is going to be the most random TBR I'm ever gonna get. That is just a bizarre combination of books and I'm genuinely very excited to read them, but it's just so random. But anyway, I want to keep that up at least for now because I'm enjoying it, it's a bit of fun. I think with December, it might've been one and a half books that I didn't get round to which I don't think out of eight is very bad. And I'm not gonna give myself a hard time. There's no punishments for not finishing it. This is meant to be fun. So that's how I'm gonna treat it. Whether or not I mix it up a little bit later in the year, chuck in some rules, we'll see how we go. But for now, do you know what? It's okay. Um, weirdly, the only book that I didn't even start in December was a Christmas book. How? But anyway, 2024. I don't know reading wise. I normally like to set myself some goals or particular books I want to read the next year. And I think I'm gonna take some pressure off this year. Um, well, next year, nearly this year. It'll change to next year during this vlog. So the only thing that I really wanna do is go back over some books that I have had for a while on my TBR. In 2022, Try to work out what year's what i didn't keep up with the current releases so in 2023 i made more of an effort to read 2023 releases but then of course i wasn't reading many of the older books on my tbr so i thought in 2024 i want to try and have a bit of a happy medium now where possible i will aim to do that through my tbr videos that being said there's a lot of books coming out in 2024 that i want to read i've already got two pre-orders uh, for january as well as two reservations for January at the library. So that's four 2024 releases. Never mind the arcs that I've got at Yelk, the arcs that I've got on NetGalley. There's a lot of 2024 releases I'm very, very excited about. So I'm thinking, and please let me know your thoughts on this. Um, for every 2024 release that I read, that I'm thinking I need to read one of the first 100 books that I put on my TBR. So I've currently got about 1,600 books on my TBR, so these have been added now for the last few years. So I had a quick sneaky look on Goodreads, and the first 100 books are so random. They'll be, I'll be honest, some of them I don't own. If I, haven't, if I don't own them yet, I'm not gonna go out and buy them. Okay, that I'm gonna stick to, but, there are some non-fiction, there's a lot of classics, and there's a lot of booktube made me buy it. Books that I'm not necessarily 100% sure I'm still interested in. And then some really random, like, charity shop finds. So, I think that could just be a bit of fun. 
So for every 2024 release, we go back to my TBR and read some of the oldest books. What do you think? Do you think that might be a bit of fun? Um, I have some videos planned in my head. So I would like to read some more classics this year anyway. Um, and next year. It's going to be this year when you watch this video anyway. And then I would like to maybe read a couple of Stephen King books as well. But do you know what? I'm just not going to put pressure on myself. But let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know if there are any videos you want to see, particularly based on my January TBR for January. That is just so random. I'm very excited. I'm going to stop waffling at you now. And I'll catch up with you when I do some reading. Hey, so I've just finished Jigsaw and I've just started reading again, I Am Winter. Hopefully I'm going to finish the vlog for this tonight, um, which I started three weeks ago now maybe, and I just haven't picked this book up. Uh, just purely a time thing. But I want to, while I can read tonight and a bit of tomorrow, I want to work on the books that I'm currently reading. So I'm going to go into 2024 with as few books on the go as possible. So hopefully it's only been another hour or so and I'll finish this. I'll consider some food. Hello. And yeah, let's do this. Put on Super Mario film for the dog. And what is he doing? Washing his paws. Anyway. I have just finished I'm Winter, which I've done a vlog on, which I've now finished and I'm currently editing and uploading. Finally! But yeah, another book off the list. So, I now have three books on the go. I've got the Britney Spears autobiography, which I'm listening to on Neverend, whatever script is now. I've got self-help book on the go and I'm reading this one with about 100-ish, maybe a little bit over, pages to go. So if I continue reading tonight, this is what I'm gonna be reading. Um, or, you know, maybe at least one of us will watch a Super Mario film. So it's about half past nine. I've read about another 30 pages of Babel, but I'm really tired now, so. I'm going to head up and about to trigger a really cute reaction, I think. Would you? I haven't asked you yet. I haven't asked you yet. Would you like to choose a toy and take up to bed? Do you want to go choose a toy? What a good choice! That's a, are you sure? That's a toy? That's a toy you want to take up? Okay. Okay. So I thought I'd have a quick look on booktube, the first 100 books I actually added back in October 2020 onwards. Um, because potentially I'm going to be reading a few of these, aren't I? There's a few here, Sarah Medi can be on the checklist and that, that I would quite like to read. Um, a few books by Santa Montefiore from her backlist that I never went back and read. Not too bad. Or oh, The Northern Lights. You know, here's Dark Materials trilogy. That would be a good one to look at this year. Um, some of these I know is a factor at the storage unit, so that's not going to happen easily. Got the classics. Uh, here we go into books that were popular when I joined BookTube. So it might finally be time to pick up some of those. Back to more classics. Oh dear. Quite a few classics. Right, okay. It'll be interesting. Back to some booktube ones. Um, okay, oh, now that's a lucky win because that's already on my TBR. So that I will count against one new one. That's brilliant. Um, as is legendary, now I've just reserved this in the library. So that could be two of the older books on my TBR, which will make up for two 2024 releases. That is a lucky win. I just got the physical copy of this the other day. That's brilliant. Do you know, I have got some good books here. That's a short one. 
Um, I meant to come right, get around to this one and this one many times. I don't know, where's the 100th book then? Where's number 100? What's number 100? For goodness sake, don't tease me. Okay, yes, yeah, so some of these, not that we're all down this far yet, but I haven't actually got physical copies, but we'll see. As you know what, first 100 books, there are, there are a good dozen or so there. I would not be upset reading at the moment. Hello, it's currently 10 a.m. On New Year's Eve, I've just had a bath and hair wash and I have just finished Babel, Babel, whatever we're calling it. Um, I have been reading this book for just over two months and I really wish I could say it was worth it. Alas, I've settled at a three out of five star. Um, the first part of the book was probably a four star. I was really into it, I was really enjoying it. Then... The second part of the book was probably a two star, so I thought if I meet in the middle, I'll give it a three out of five star. Um, yeah, I think plot wise, it could have been half as long. I think it was overly padded out in places and that just made it seem like it dragged a little bit. But you know what? It was fine. It's another book ticked off. That makes my reading for 2023 at 120 books which I think is pretty good my goal was 100 so I'm happy with that um so I'm not going to start anything else but it does mean that I'm going into 2024 with about an hour and a half of an audiobook left and just a self-help book on the go so I'm really pleased with that that's what I wanted to be going in with um but yeah, I'm going to have a chill out day today. I don't know what I'm going to do. If I read, I'll let you know. If not, I'm just going to be chilling. And I'll speak to you soon. Hello, it is nearly midday on Tuesday. I'm gonna work from home today. Been up for a couple of hours, but it was a long shift yesterday. We left at midnight. We got into bed at about 2 a.m. So I'm forgiving myself a slow start today. But as you would have seen, I did some reading yesterday. I started and finished Luster and I'm gonna level with you. It was a 2.5 out of 5, rounded up to a 3 on Goodreads. I was just very disappointed. I think mainly for me, although the story was okay, the story was quite interesting. Um, something very different, not read anything like it, which is the bits that I liked. I just personally wasn't a fan of the writing style. Um, and I just think that could have gone, I don't know, a little bit more full on. Could have been a little bit more drama than it was and I find it very hard to believe the actions of some of the characters when they're thrown into some awkward situations that you know everything would be so light and fluffy and chilled so yeah very mixed it was fine but then I started Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood and I'm nearly halfway through I would have kept reading this had I not been so tired towards the end of the shift. But I noticed I was almost skipping lines and that. And I was like, no, so I've just stop reading. But I am loving it. And although it is a YA book, I don't think it's written as a young YA. It's definitely an older YA. There are, you know, sexual references and things like that in it. But I love the main characters, Mallory and Nolan. I like the side characters. Her sisters are absolutely brilliant. And... I, I know I'm gonna love this so I would like to finish it well not necessarily finish this because I've got some stuff to do today like work but I would like to continue with this later so yeah I'm gonna crack on and I'll catch up with you tonight or this afternoon we'll see hello I'm with this one um it's now just gone four and we're cooking aren't we yes well mummy's cooking you're supervising and we're just sitting down for a minute and I thought I'd have a little catch up so I have been continuing with Check and Mate. I've read another two, three chapters. I've got one more work 
thing to do, which I'm gonna do whilst I'm cooking. And then I'm gonna eat, then I'm going to go in a bath and I'm gonna chill with this little one for a while. But I was just having a think. Was it a think or was it a moan? Probably a combination of the two. But I had a moment and I just thought, I'm so tired. I don't wanna cook dinner tonight. I'm just gonna get a takeaway. And then I thought, I'll check and see what I had. I've actually done a meal plan for this week. Hence the food shop coming today so I can stick to it. And I realized that me cooking tonight was meant to also like roll in over the food for tomorrow. So we've got an ambulance shift tomorrow, but there's a crew room and there's heating food facilities. So could have just said microwave, couldn't I really? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I was like, do you know what, Soph, just do it, just do it. But I'm really struggling this year already. I'm trying to keep to a to-do list. I struggled in December and, you know, I don't wish struggle on anyone else, but if you did as well, please let me know so I know I'm not the only one. You know, you, you hit a stage and you think that you're organised and you're running to schedule and everything is as it is, and then you get a curveball or something just changes and then all of a sudden you were just chasing your tail. You're so far behind. And I felt like that with Christmas. And I think the difference is between this year and last year, I have come out of the office more and I'm working back on the road. And I love that. I have thoroughly enjoyed working with the team. I've met some wonderful people. But what it's just meant is maybe I'm not at home as much. And therefore I was a little bit behind on the old Christmas shopping front. And everything just got stressful. We were eating absolute rubbish or we just weren't eating, you know, and I thought, I can't do that in January. You know, we need to be looking after ourselves and we need to be sorting our stuff out. So I sat down, I did a whole spreadsheet for January with different tabs and I then did a meal plan and then a food shop relevant to that week's meal plan. So I was like, I'm gonna have to stick to it today. And now it means I'm actually gonna have a nice healthy dinner tonight with a healthy lunch tomorrow you know and it's just going to be worth it so it's just pushing myself to do it but you know i split my work to do's up over the course of a month i wrote down everything i need to do in a month then i split that into four so there was a lot per week and then i went back and i was like right i'm in the office this day this day and this day so i divided it up and i've been sticking to that so far i know it's only the second okay but i'm where i need to be work wise so I just want to stick to it. So anyway, why am I telling you this? Does anyone else do this? I've also started Christmas shopping for 2024. I've got about 20 presents. I'm like, I'm not going to fall behind again this year. I have a spreadsheet, a proper plan. And yeah, I'm already shopping. I nearly did a video actually showing everyone. Like I thought, should I do like a Christmas every month? Like what I'm doing to prep for Christmas each month and what I've bought. And I thought, is anyone going to be interested in that? Anyway, I digress. But yeah, so I'm sorting things out now and I'm pleased that I've cooked tonight. So I'm going to cook, I'm going to have a bath and hair wash after I've eaten. And then we're going to chill, aren't we? We say, yes, mum. Yes, mum. And I put something on TV for him and then I shall continue with Check and Mate, which I am really enjoying. Hello. So it's now 10 to 7 and I'm sat on the sofa reading Check and Mate. I've had a bath and hair wash. I'm sort of prepped for tomorrow. So I'm chilling. I am loving this book so much. I really, really am. This is on track to be a five out of five stars, which is the same as I think I've rated every other Ali Hazelwood book. I'm in loving this just as much. I love the main characters. I'm getting so impatient for them to get together because you can just tell they would be so perfect for each other. I absolutely love all of their friends in this, particularly Oz. He is absolutely hilarious. There have been laugh out loud moments in this. And I don't know if a book has ever made me laugh out loud about a guinea pig reference before. But this is just so much fun. It's so easy to read. I love the blossoming romance. I'm enjoying the chess talk and I don't know how to play chess. Um, I just love this so much. So I'm going to crack on with it tonight. I don't know if I'm going to finish it tonight or not, but I have a long shift tomorrow. And what I don't want is to only have 100 or so pages left of this and read it at the beginning of my shift tomorrow. Um, so I think I'm going to take Divine Rivals with me to work. Just in case I get the downtime to read, you know, I might not be as lucky as yesterday. I might end up with patience all day, we'll see. But yeah, so I want to read as much of this tonight as I possibly can. Um, 
yeah, I'm just loving it so much. So, I have about 60 pages left and I'm going to have to call it a night and I'm absolutely gutted, but I've got to get up at 4am. So, I need to go to bed in about 20 minutes so I get at least seven hours sleep. But I am absolutely loving this. I still love all the characters. And now we're having a really lovely family moment with Mallory and her sisters and her mum. And they are just all so lovely. I cannot wait to find out what happens. But I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait. But it's so good. But yeah, because I've only got about 60 pages left, I'm not going to take this to work tomorrow. Because I'll finish that in the first hour or so of the shift and potentially I want something else. So I'm still going to take Divine Rivals, but alas, this is just going to have to sit at home and wait for me to come back. Hello, darling. You okay, honey? Hello, thought I'd have a catch up before I finish the video. I think when I last spoke to you, I had about 50, 60 pages left to check and make. And I wasn't going to take it to work because I thought I'm going to read it in about an hour. And that's just taking up valuable space in my bag. I've got to carry it. And um, yeah, I'll wait till I get home. But I've always got my Kindle with me. And it was 99p in the Kindle store. And I thought, do you know what? For the sake of giving yourself a really nice start to the morning. So treat yourself. So that is exactly what I did. Finished it. Loved it. Five out of five star. So I was really happy. Um, I did start Divine Rivals that day, however I read about one or two chapters and then just didn't go back to it. I think <clears throat> partly I was tired and also we were busy. It was a shift, you know, although we didn't have patience, we were wandering around meeting people, setting up equipment and things, so, you know, working through emergency procedures, evacuations and things. So it was actually quite a busy day in the end. <clears throat> that being said, Sorry, I have not been up long. Throat's waking up for the day. Um, that being said, I have continued with Divine Arrivals. I'm now 20% of the way through and I'm not particularly impressed at the moment. It's lacking, it's a slow starter for me. I'm getting frustrated, but I'm going to persevere because I'm hopeful it's one of those books that will all of a sudden just get really, really good. And I hope so because I pre-ordered the second one that should be arriving next week. But before I go, I have a question. So I mentioned earlier in this video that when I'm adding a 2024 book to my TBR, I then want to make sure this year that I'm going back and I'm reading one of the first hundred books on my TBR that is accessible, that is at home. I'm not going to go out and buy another book if it's like a storage unit or something. So, so far I have read Luster, which was in the first hundred books I put on my TBR. It was one of the books that I got when I first joined booktube. Last night I started the sequel to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I'm reading that on my Kindle. I was very kindly sent that from NetGalley. So my question to you is, going forward, I, not for these two books, because I've already read one and I've started the other. If I'm going to do sort of like my old and new books that I'm reading, do I include those in my normal vlogs or should I put them as separate videos? So let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna love you and leave you now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, say hi, uh, let me know how you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.